Hill started in a sleepy town called Hollyoaks. So we've come to this amazing kind of warehouse studio we kind of thing and built a fake dog which looks apparently, because I haven't seen it yet, identical, spit an image to the real dog. So I think it's gonna be quite surreal. We're all just in the dog and then um, Sam Owen comes in and sets fire to the place. Sophie, what's wrong? What's the matter? Get back! Both of you! Get back! And we're now taking him in the hangar where they used to build nuclear submarines. Follow me. This is the stairs of the dog. Really interesting. And there's actually, actually, there's, no, there's nothing in there, so there's no point me taking you there. We'll go to the next bit where a few characters actually die. They're waiting to die. It is weird. It's a bit surreal. I read the scripts when I first got the scripts, I read it, and honestly, I was like, man, that's a bit full on. <laughs> really, it's like bloody bags, and she follows him to the phone. And and all that, and then the answer phone comes on and she looks in the body, gets to the body bags and it's like, what? My mum started crying. She did. My mum was crying, what, reading it? I just think it's funny, me. It's different. It's a nice way to go out with a bit of a bang. This is the actual cellar of the dog, where the fire starts, and this is where Joe and uh, Olivia, Chris and Zoe try and break out, but they can't get out the window because the fire's up there. So when you're in there, it is a little bit surreal because obviously you can't see out. So it does feel like you're back at work at Mersey TV and the place is burning down, so there is a bit of stricken panic. Anybody move! And the whole place goes up! I'm gonna let you pop the camera around and get through there and have a quick peek. That's the director, Alan Grint. That's Fran. That's great. That's the roof that's gonna cave in. That's what you've done, Sam! <laughs> A lot of it's actually uh, uh, just lamps. We're going to film it back at Shieldwall, which has to be controlled. You can't have actually any fires there, so it's going to be just lamps flickering, imitating fire. Um, so it looked brilliant. Ali and Gwent's a great director, so it'll look good. And I'm amazing, so it'll be fine. We're going to set fire to the pub first, which is the first thing Sam does when he arrives. You know, he pours petrol all over the front of the dog and sets fire to it. When we've got a few shots of that, we're going to cut the flames and then they're going to load for explosives for the big bang, which uh, will be the end of the dog as we know it. Should be good. If you, if you can sit by one of the monitors... Just give me two minutes, I've just got special effects. OK, Fran. Quiet throughout. Thanks very much. Okay, we're live on the firing box. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, cut it there, cut it there. Okay, make safe, please. Make safe, guys. Make safe. I was nearly swore then. No, it was great. Really, really great. Everyone did their job. The fire was breathtaking. Very frightening, I thought. Huge explosion, big fireball. I think it's yeah. the perfect end to a, to a soap storyline. Dramatic death, I think that's what soap's all about. I don't know how I'm going to feel, to be honest with you. Um, probably a little bit sad, but it's going to be quite funny at the same time, I think, in my warped sort of sense of humour. Um, yeah, I'm, like, I'm weird looking forward to it. Sophie, what's wrong? What's the matter? Get back! Both of you! Get back! 